Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I'm back with another video. So I do videos several times a week, sometimes several times a day. And in today's video, we're going to talk about um, issue number 11 of The Silver Coin. And uh, it's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty gross um, cover. If you, <laughs> make sure you haven't eaten before you look at this cover. So uh, this is issue number 11. This is actually, um, I believe this is June's, yeah, it's June's issue. I can remember 12 was, Jul 12 was July's issue. So, yeah. So this is uh, June's issue, and uh, this is called The Diner. And, um, yeah. It is a, uh, it's a basically... I want to put the comic book down. I don't want to gross people off of the entire video. So basically, it's a story about this diner that's been around for a very long time, and this uh, new new restaurant opens up called Wonder Burger, where basically uh, it is it has become the replacement for the diner. So the diner's still there, but the diner is not drawing customers in like it used to because Wonder Burger just has a larger selection of food. And the waitress is basically says that, you know, he's, she's going to burn it to the ground. There's one that opened up in Tampa Bay and everything. And so she comes upon um, the silver coin. This guy who is a regular comes in and among the, among the money that he gives to pay for his order is the silver coin. Well, uh, she makes a wish that she wishes basically for more customers and it turns out that she gets her wish she gets tons and tons and tons of customers to the point where literally the cook is feeding customers other customers and they're eating it without even like caring so I'm going to first of all say the theme of cannibalism in this, in this, in this, um, comic book definitely does the shock value. Um, and it's just, literally, you're watching this happen in the panels. It's like, oh my god, you would, this would never be permitted 30 years ago. No, it wouldn't. It would not, no. You would not see this comic book 30 years ago. No, 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 no. And the thing is, the image is 30 years old. So it was like, what the? Okay. <laughs> and then at the end of the panel, the guy comes back for his coin. It's just bizarre. Um, but... Yeah, it, it had the, uh, it definitely had the gross factor. It definitely had the gross factor. I was like, ooh, just, oh, uh, gross. Um, but I'm going to give it um, five stars. It is a, it is, despite it being gross, it is a great issue. Um, I really enjoyed it immensely. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is, you know, this is what I lot really like about Image Comics is you really have a lot of, you really have, as far as the silver coins concerned, you really have the envelope pushed. And this is what's missing from DC and Marvel. Um, you know, I've been, I've been reading, I've been back reading and buying comics for months. And it's the kind of thing that you do not see in like DC or Marvel, they will not publish this kind of content. And I'm actually going to do a do a video about independent versus like DC and Marvel, and why I think why I think that you know independent comic book sellers or comic book companies are going to be the ones that are really going to be staying in business. So. I will be doing a video about that probably probably today, and I'm going to upload it on the same day that I, well, I'm going to upload on the same day that I upload this video. 
So, anyways, um, if you like this video, and I hope that you do, and, um, you know, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Um, after this one, I will do a review of the Silver Coin issue number 12. And so, yeah, so expect that in the next um, couple of days. So, until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.